から始めるわねWhat's going on, YouTube? My name is Vida m a n d i s t e n and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Leverage. This is episode 26. If you've not seen episode 25, go ahead and watch it. Also, two things. One, I hope you had a great weekend. And if you didn't, I'm sorry to hear that. And number two, drink some water. You look dry and crusty. And number three, there's no number three. Anyways,、uh, let's get started. I have nothing else. <clears throat> I'm so excited to be back with the. Bay Reina Root. I told y'all you're gonna hear me say that till this game is over. I'm not kidding. Oh, and then there's King Koi Golden Time too, so get ready for that too. I love Reina, I love Reina, I love Reina. If she's in that game, I don't know if she is. The sun set while、well, we were living it up in the hallway, so we ended up heading home together. Tough luck back there, huh? Ah, come on. She's not just any weirdo. Atashi no koto? Who can you dare it in there? ごめん<笑>こいつ本当殴っていいか ?Now, now. おい、こいつ絶対に例の場所連れてくんなよ。来たらまずてめえから突き落とすからな。I'll be careful. We hadn't gotten as far as the roof today either, for that matter. たく。Ryo's expression was mellow, all said and done. She didn't make faces like this when we were alone together, though. <笑> Reina was one impressive, smooth talker. Sure is. Sure is, sure was, sure, whatever. Oh my god. What is it that every time we start an episode in this room, I see her big, dumb face and her huge, humongous. Oh my god. The three of us headed back to the dorm again today. Oh my. 最近ずっとあいつと一緒だよな。Hmm? Ryo to Reina with her jaw. Were we together that often? Maybe we are together a lot now that you mention it. 好きなの Huh? I do! I sure do! Me, なるほど。Yet. It's not nothing. How could I forget now that I've heard that? Did I like her? Did I have feelings for Reina? Well, yeah, I did like her as a friend, but Ria obviously meant it that way. I don't really feel that way about her. And I also only liked her back in the past. Yeesh, what was with her? I only considered Sylvia and Reyna friends. What was she getting all jealous for? I mean, I did think they were both wonderful women to fall in love with, but I had no plans of pursuing romance whatsoever yet. I hadn't gotten that something else I'd devoted myself to out of my system yet. System. System! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Ha! Ryo and Reina's voices instantly fade away as a deep male voice called out to me. Since that voice was something special to me. Because there was something else entirely. Completely different from those of Ria and Reina, my female friends. Ah, yes. Doria. I found it. Alright, I already have two questions, and I should just shut up and read and see if that's the case. But first of all, how did he find out if the first route and the common route they hadn't known? And, he, and it seemed like they never would. And number two, is he still dating his sister? Because if that's the case, oh gosh, that's awful. What? <laughs> Oh. I like the music too. This is a different track I haven't heard. At least I think. It's really、uh, suspenseful, kinda. Kinda gives me some, like, I don't know, vibes. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. I'd forgotten to mention this to Ria earlier. At this point in time, I was in no mood to find a prospective partner. Namely, because I hadn't yet settled the score from my past that stood in the way. Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. I guess we are. Bro, what? What? The next day, Sunday. To be crystal clear, the fact it was another day off was horrendous luck. A number of problems had arisen, arisen and. Come in. 
Oh. I had no choice but to invite this guy over. シマ君が来てるってマジマジで。へえ。なんでシマ君がこんなところにっていうか。We escaped the noisy outsiders in the foyer and hid in my dorm room. Yeah, I guess. Now this huge of a mess is yours. Maria Bishop the poster. Shut up. Doesn't hurt anything, does it? いいけど。あ、おい。前に見た時よりぶよぶよしてる。I'm <laughs> not superhuman here since there's a lake nearby. You may face your Nichiro poster and say, "Nichiro-san, I'm going to practice. Please watch over me when you do your morning stretches, but don't let me in with you." あれは大事な儀式なんだよ。Shima Toryo, my childhood friend. I hadn't seen him since summer break, around four months ago, but our conversations were the same as always. Maybe it really was because we were childhood friends? I honestly didn't want to talk to him anymore, though. Frankly, I didn't feel like seeing him today, either. <coughs> okay, but how do you politely say that? <coughs> I don't think it's a polite way of doing it. It was just unavoidable, given how things worked out yesterday. Not after he suddenly turned up out of nowhere. Oi, wait! I have nothing to say to you. Wait! Let's go, Rhea, Reyna. I pulled them both by the hand and dashed toward the dorm. We had successfully gotten away, but... Wait! He followed after us. Curse man. Huh? I not <laughs> they just slap him in the back of the head or what? <laughs>。Yeah, he is a trespasser. Yep. Yes, sir. That's a great idea. Uh, wait, wait. I obviously didn't want my childhood friend's arm to get lopped off. Later, Minachan suggested we settle the matter by talking it over. That brought us to this moment. That's a major exception. Don't ask. It's a pain to explain. Oh. oh. ですから姫様、これは市松殿の個人的なことですゆえ。でも、オーラのお友達が来ているのでしょ。ご挨拶したいわ。なんだか揉めてる様子でしたわよ。やっぱり私が無理やりノーブル学園に招いたから、昔から
心配したいなくなったって聞いておじさんとおばさんに聞いても教えてくれなくて Dang, for real? They're real for that. Well, yeah. It'd be a huge hassle if Sylvie's an invitation to the Noble Academy got leaked to the public. So my parents had been sworn to secrecy. Oh, okay. As a result, nearly none of my friends on the outside knew that I was currently at Noble Academy. Among my old group of friends, Takato was the only one I'd spoken with recently. I hadn't mentioned Noble Academy, but I had brought up Jogasaki's name. He must have pieced together that we were at the same school. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I studied. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. It was pointlessly nasty. There was no point in even saying it to him, and yet. Even though I'd had absolutely nothing to do this past summer, it wasn't even his fault. Jeez, Odo. I called up your butt. Odo? Let me talk, Manako! Dang! Jesus Christ. Anyways, what I was trying to say is Odo's acting like Ayaka and I don't I don't like that. ねえ、ねえ、ポジションはキャッチャー、星というやつで。うん。浜南の司法、ピッチャー島東良とバッテリーを組んだ一番の相棒だったそうです。いなくなっただけで島殿が調子を崩し、今年夏の大会では、まともに機能しなかったほど。
体調は万全でもやっぱりさボールの方が言うことを聞かなくてストライクが入らなくなっちゃって1回戦の1回から5点もいかれちゃってさみんなも一気に集中力が消えちゃって1イニングに5点も入ったの生まれてはずだった途中からもう向こうが無理に振ってくれたから止まったようなもんでお前の代わりの捕手佐々木先輩になったんだよ覚えてるか、yeah. あの人悪いキャッチャーじゃないんだけどやっぱどうもさ思いっきりカーブかけると絶対取り逃すし That's because you don't have a steady curveball and you think it'll magically work out as long as you keep it away from the bat すまん佐々木先輩にも取れる球をって投げるとどうしてもキレが甘くてさカーブが使い物にならなくてほら俺ストレートは160出るけどカーブなしじゃ武器がないだろ160結局ストレートオンリーじゃ Even if you reach 160kph it'll fly as long as a metal bat makes contact 佐々木先輩の配球だとストライク取りに行くのもバレバレだし That's what caused your slump? 一番は言い訳させてもらうと監督もひでえよなこっち投げれなくなってるのに全然変えてくれないのさらし投げっていうのかあれ That's your fault for not being able to pitch 分かってるよ言うなよ冷てえな昔のお前は俺がスランプだったり玉が乱れた時はすぐに近寄ってきて大丈夫だ落ち着けって優しく言ってくれたのに<笑>中学3年間一度だって1イニングに3点以上は出さなかった安定感はお前がいてくれたからだろうな。でな。We hadn't talked in a long time, but everything he said rang hollow. There was no way around it. It was boring to listen to a man's idle complaints. As far as I was concerned, this was done and over with. お前がいなきゃ。お前の配給と。お前の的何よりどんな球も絶対取ってくれるお前がいること自体が俺の自信だった。だからさ、オーロ。できたら。できたらなんだけど。俺ともう一度。I can't.I answered immediately. I belong to Noble Academy now. I can't go back to Hamana. Demo! Say I go back, then what? You want me to work my butt off with the baseball club? If I went back now, I'd just lead the second string lifestyle, then retire when next summer comes. On the other hand, my future career prospects are practically endless if I stay here and graduate from Noble Academy. I'll be able to become a stable civil servant at the least. I have no reason to go back, that's all. Maybe I was a little hasty? Either way, I told him exactly what I wanted to say yesterday. Since yesterday, I knew that this guy would suggest something to the effect of, let's play together again. That was why I thought up how to reject him. I more or less knew what he would say, how he would act, and what he was thinking, since we'd been in a battery together for years. Noble Gakuen が相手じゃ、部が悪いってのは確かったわな。Yeah. There's no academy that would better serve my future than this one. In terms of self interest, I had zero reason to leave this place. Demo! Demo, Pironi! Yaku de Pirono Micho Medasmara! Cocoiri Tetani Hamanandase! He had a point. Noble Academy didn't put any effort into baseball. If I would have devoted my life to the sport, then the school that frequented national tournaments like Hamanan would be best. However, that's only for first string players and the exceptional ones at that. The ball boys in second string never make it, bro. Not happening. Fair point. Based on the abilities I witnessed at Hamanan in those days, this guy was the number one athlete pro scouts focused on. And I was number two. With that, I was confident. But. But. It's second string. So, I'm not going to die. So, I'm not going to die. 
They'll dump me in second string, rusty or not. The coach will never let me in the first string. The coach's word is absolute and ability is irrelevant. That's what sports are. As long as baseball is a sport, I'll be in second string. That's all. I have no reason to return to Hamalan. It's not like that. It made me happy to hear I was your source of confidence. I believe you'll go pro in the future and that you'll become an athlete that brings a comfortable 100 million yen salary. To be blunt, I even believe you'll make it to the majors. Become as famous as you can. Then when you write your autobiography, remember what you just told me. Right? Once upon a time, I teamed up with the ultimate catcher. Come on, you got team championship photos from elementary and middle school, don't you? Ones with the two of us side by side? You can use those too. If I'm going to be involved in the sport of baseball anytime in the future, it's only in those photos. Dorio fell silent. I knew it would end this way. He'd never beaten me in a verbal argument even once. I absolutely knew it. Go back. You snuck out of practice, I assume. Dorio sluggishly stood up. Don't sweat it. I did betray the team, after all. It's one of the reasons I can never go back. He left. We might never meet again. Oh well, that was part of life. Is that so? Hmm. I opened the door. Dorio headed outside as he rubbed his eyes a bit. Sovisan? A princess came kicking her way in out of nowhere. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? She's so aggressive. We went back in the room. Oh my god. This, <laughs> this behavior would make more sense in her root. What the heck is this? You know her? The way someone from outside of the academy looked at Sylvie was refreshing. And this gave me a bit of a superiority complex. This gorgeous lady and I were super close, you know? So, you shattered the serious mood rather spectacularly. His son had tagged along with Zoe. シマドノが市松殿に接触された時期、事情を姫様にそれで最終的には浜南学園に呼び戻すつもりであろうことをお伝えしたら飛び出してしまわれて。オーロはもうノーブル学園の人なんだから連れて行く気なら容赦しないわ
あとシルビア王女のサイン欲しいんだけど頼んだらもらえる Get out of here already. シェア。There you went. Oh boy. At some point, a huge crowd had formed outside. Torio was a popular guy, and several girls had come by to say hello to him. He was the number one athlete Pro Scouts had honed in on. Well, that was number two, but that wasn't accurate. Even if there were a hundred Scouts, all of them would have their eyes planted on him and him alone. I bet they wouldn't notice any other member of this team. If there was a number two, it'd probably be me, but I hadn't actually been scouted to go pro in the first place. He and I were always standing on different stages. No golden path had been laid out for me. I went back to my room. Hmm. Oh, you were still here. Ah, yeah. Like I said, a friend. An old one. That's all. Nothing more and nothing less. このノーブル学園に来る前はさっきのこのいる浜南学園にいてでも9月の時点で退学してたんですってどうして I really didn't want to tell her but the other son should know she investigated everything about me when we first met I bet she wouldn't say if I asked her to keep quiet about it nah that was enough this was a pain Because I was bullied.、Huh? I had a tiny screw up in the baseball club and was demoted to second string. Because of it, our academy lost the first match of the tournament. And so I got bullied by all of my teammates.、It、got to be too much, so I dropped out of school over summer break. So, no, you got to have a go hang out, you must. Each month, the Noga, Kantok no Ikoni, Hamukata Nova, Waki Ate no Koto. So, let the Shia Ni Dasana Kata Nova, Kantok no Kyo Rio des. その結果大会で負けることになったのは一松殿のせいではましてその件で嫌がらせを受けたのはほとんど部員たちの八つ当たりに近いものでエルさんあっ私は一つの選手を選んだのは私は一つの選手を選んだのは私は一つの選手を選んだのは私は一つの選手を選んだのは私は一つの選手を選んだのは私は一 The world of sports was more or less an anomaly. That's actually why it genuinely helped me on a life changing level when you invited me to this academy, Sylvie. What a. Thank you, Sylvie. I'm glad I met you. She embraced me. Not a soft, girly sort of hug, but more. or an emotional, manly, tenacious embrace. <laughs> オーラが望むならその監督とかオーラをいじめてた人たちみんなひどい目に合わせてもいいわ<笑>どんな手を使っても I like that. 姫様それは権力とはそういうものよ無慈悲で残酷で相手の気持ちなんて考えずに人を押しつぶすわナイスナイス I like that. I like that. オーラが悔しかった気持ちわかる It was the same for me I was crushed by the coach's ruthless cruel power But you don't need to do that. You've already given me more than enough salvation. That's plenty. Thank you, Sylvie. Yeah. Then could you give me an autograph later? I'll give it to Dorio. And also, a picture. This wasn't a hug you'd ever. <laughs> This wasn't a hug you'd get every day, so I snapped the photo. I'll show Torio next time I see him to brag. Isn't this much fine? Then, that's all I want you to do for me, Zoe. You've already done everything I ever could have wanted from you. Especially in the last route, Jesus Christ. <laughs> She seemed to have settled down and let me go. Seems she had snuck away from some job she had today. She headed back in the afternoon. There's still several people outside, and a few were investigating what was going on. As such, I wouldn't be going outside today. I didn't have the willpower to go out anyway, so I spent the whole day lounging around in bed. Man, 
to it. My long-awaited Sunday. Ah. Why well, had I become so pathetic? All of my willpower had been sapped just because I ran into him. Maybe I still had regrets. Somewhere inside of me. Maybe there was something still lingering deep down. Maybe there is. There definitely is. 100% there is. Oisu. Hey, my favorite. Ah, my favorite. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, we're gonna turn up about the time things simmer down outside. What's up? <laughs> I sort of got if it's coffee milk, I'm ending the video. <laughs> See you guys. I'm just kidding. Sasa, go eat to Ikine. Call he you new Sayareba. Nayami got to no Kuju Kuari wa Katazuku yo. This is a small time religious belief for you at this point. I take it anyhow. Chug. <sighs> kind of wish I could have chugged it after taking a bath. I really don't get your obsessions. But yeah, it helps. I'm worn out today, so having something sweet helps a lot. I sipped away at the rest little by little. Sweet. Relaxing. Not enough to be worth talking about. If you were to use the word bullied, then it might sound tough. In reality, it was a run of the mill as it got. If you disrupted a group's harmony, they cut you out. Once you were removed from the circle, you couldn't stick around anymore. Was there even a person alive who'd grown up without a single irrational run-in with misfortune? Mine just happened to be a tiny bit harsher than most. My luck was just the slightest bit poor. That's all it was. Oide. Me Huh? Ho oh, ho! Where's this coming from, Reyna? Reyna, who had sat down beside me, pulled me in and placed my head on her lap. Oh, I like this. God dang, I like this view. What's this for? Ah, uh, yes, the good old lap pillow. I remember those. I know what it's called. I want to know why you're doing it all of a sudden. She gently patted me on the head. Yeesh, she was a tough read sometimes. It felt nice, so it was probably fine. Her toned, yet supple thighs felt great. Pleasantly warm against my face. Wait, wasn't this backwards? Her belly was right in front of my eyes. Reno's body filled my entire field of view, and I was being engulfed in this bittersweet aroma. Hmm. Well, I was happy, so better stay this way. Warm. Soft. Bitties! <laughs> This might be the thumbnail. I like this. Certain someone? Mm, I see. Handsome childhood friend. That... She gave lap pillows. Huh. She's a woman? Oh, for whatever reason, I pictured a guy when you said the name Honga. The word handsome wasn't just for men these days. It got used for women, children, the elderly, dogs, and even cats. So it was fundamentally difficult to tell. Now we all thought it was a dude. We were all like, what the fuck? Hmm. I could hear the gloom in her tone. Did that mean... Hongo-san? What happened with her? ガイド。中学の時男っぽいっていじられててね。なんとなくこっちにいるのが嫌になったみたい。で、のけじょんになって農業学校入ったけど、牧畜もやっててさ。毎日絞りたての牛乳飲むようにしたら胸はシーカップ
Sounded like she was reasonably happy with her life. But Reyna had a foreboding look as she spoke of it. When she was teased, you didn't notice she hated it or something? It's not like she ran away to Hokkaido or anything, really. It's not your fault. This might be why she was so sensitive to people's expressions. She was a kind person. She sure is. I don't, I don't know if you do that to just any guy. Yeah, no, definitely not. It's plenty. Enough with the coffee milk already. As long as I had her lap pillow. I curled myself up slightly. My head sunk into Reynolds' lap in kind. I put all of my weight against her. She made for a squishy, comfortable pillow. Yup. I still dream about it sometimes. About those days. This past summer. Only four months had passed since then, huh? So many fun things had happened since I transferred the Noble Academy that I had forgotten. It was only four months ago, so I dreamt of it often. The nightmares followed me. The thing about me, I just so happened to speak up. Not that I wanted to talk about it that much, it was so lame, but I didn't stop. Before I knew it, I had apparently found Reyna easy to rely on. I wanted to walk a path where no one could be ashamed of me. It wasn't that I wanted to show off. Mm. I really didn't want to be a show off. I wanted to be immaculate. Yes, I wanted to be golden. That was all. That's why I fought against my coach. Cheering squads are important for gigantic baseball teams like ours. So we had this sort of academy-wide cheering brigade during tournament season. It was customary for the band club to go as well. The band practiced too. But on the days off, several members of the club had a light music contest they were performing in outside of the club itself. I told them they should go do it, especially when there was other cheering parties around. I said it'd be fine even if all of the band club members weren't present. But the coach worked behind the scenes and said everyone had a cheer, and that was all part of morale. Every single band club member ended up participating since first day in the morning. I learned this later on, but I guess the coach's hands were tied and a bunch of middle-aged guys from the booster club ordered him to make that call. People like that aren't satisfied unless they lump everyone together. I wouldn't accept that and argued with the coach a number of times. I didn't think it was right for the band club members to give up their dreams for us. And when I did, he demoted me to second string. I didn't matter. Losing me, a single player, wouldn't hurt our team's performance enough to talk about. But I was the catcher and that threw our pitcher, Doryu, off his game. Not sure. We've been a team ever since elementary school, so I think it was an issue of familiarity. Based on how he acted in our conversation earlier, it sounded like his slump was ongoing. And yeah, it sounds like he needs this dude like really, really bad. <clears throat> so does that make Torio good or bad? I don't know. But the fact that he, if he's going on about that still, and he's still not playing as well because of that, that's not a very good sign, is it? His technique and talent was the best in Japan, but he was a timid guy. He definitely is, you know, he kind of looks scary and intimidating, but he's not. Thanks to that, our ace pitcher couldn't throw anymore. He was our secret weapon, so the whole team broke down. In the end, the club lost its first match in the tournament. Ah, uh, not good. I should keep the rest to myself. I don't want to tell it. But I didn't stop. Everyone blamed me. I... I just wanted to do the right thing, but that only caused problems for everyone else. Everyone said it was my fault. I, I, phony, I hadn't done anything. Everyone could have gone to the tournament and it would have been fine. And then I also wouldn't have, ah, dang it. My vision was getting wobbly. My voice had gotten nasally for the most part too. Raina had probably noticed by now. Men shouldn't cry. It was pathetic. But yeah, boys don't cry. Don't cry. If you cry, you're not a man. Just cry, bro. Just cry. It's okay. No judgment here. 
Crying is good. But it was no use. I couldn't stop. Uh, Raina softly pet my head without saying a word. Aww. Squeeze. Then pulled me in close. My face was buried in her stomach. It was a little tough to breathe. But it was best if she didn't see my tears. Yes, yes. Raina continued to brush my head like so. She was treating me too much like a kid. I guess it was fine though. The feel of her hand was comfortable as it brushed through my hair. I was just thinking, this is why they say she's like mommy or whatever. It really is. True. It all fell apart in the end. The band club and the baseball club. They ultimately came to cheer us on without attending the contest. Despite their tears and encouragement, we still lost. It was the worst outcome for everyone, including the band club. Both? Both fell apart. All because of me. Everyone from the baseball club and the band club, the cheering squad, and the booster club, too. It was the worst possible outcome for all of them. And it was my fault. Ugh. Good.生きてるとさ、何も悪いことしてなくても嫌な目に遭う時もあるよ。でもそれは運が悪かっただけ。オーロが悪いんじゃない。オーロは悪くない。Ah, crap. I was tearing up even more. I wouldn't stop. It wouldn't stop. The dang, the damn, the damn, the damn had broken on my tears and my emotions. I wanted to play more baseball. I don't want it to end that way. Mm. And the band club, all of them, all of them because of me. It was no use. It wouldn't stop. It wasn't like I'd purposely sabotaged everyone or anything like that. I kept everyone else's feelings in mind. No, I hadn't. Something inside of me, something darker, had come out. I couldn't stop it. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! The coach! It's the coach's fault. It's because he screwed with me. Because of his whims that I... I... Hmm? And the others. The others in club. They pushed. All the responsibility for losing on the me. Who the hell are they? Calling themselves teammates. Dang it. God damn. <laughs> dang. 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 My frustration was growing. Ah, oh, dang it. So many of these feelings I thought I'd done away with this summer were still there in my heart. But I didn't regret it solely due to this frustration. But I understand how the others feel. I took everyone's tournament away from them. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy. I haven't done anything wrong. But I caused them nothing but problems. Everyone's tournament ended because of me. All of that time and effort they put into practicing, their youth, was all wasted because of me. Of course they would be mad at me and believe it was my fault. It shouldn't be wrong. I shouldn't be wrong. And yet. Then why did it all come to the worst possible end? I don't remember what I may have said afterward. I probably just kept rambling on in the same vein. I'm sure Raina listened without a single complaint, gently pat my head, and then I kept on grumbling again and again. Over and over and over, like I was getting everything that had built up inside of me out of my system. Again and again and again. Kisaki-san You're not such a stupid man. You're <laughs> such a good homie, bro. Wow, that was such a good scene. I love that. Because not even in Sylvia's route was he venting like that. That's crazy. That's crazy, seriously. 
一松先輩あんな有名人とお知り合いなんてやっぱりすごい人なんですね。He's alright. シルビア王女様とお友達な時点ですごいか。でも、あの後先輩は部屋から出てこず、最後に見たとき、顔色が優れなかった気がします。You deduct correctly. ここは、今日もラジオ体操に誘って、暗い気持ちは吹き飛ばしてもらいましょう。How thoughtful of you, I can. 体を動かせば、暗い気持ちなんて飛んじゃいますよね。She's not necessarily wrong, though. We appreciate her. What a good homie. Oh, hiya, good day, Mus. Are Mother Nitelumitoi. Demo, call you to Kikoso, Aso, Spot, Tokte, Sawyakana Kimoti, Hasmeta Hoga, Edis, you know. Senpai, Okte, good as I. Senpai. What? <laughs> Why didn't you knock? Oh! It was kind of noisy. I woke up.、Hmm? Oh, morning, Hakane chan. The usual girl, huh? <sighs> morning already? So, why did you get out of the bed? Why did you get out of the bed? Huh? No, 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 no! Why did you get out of the bed? Why did you get out of the bed? Huh? She wasn't here to invite me to radio calisthenics. Well, fine, I guess. No clue. <sighs> Both of us let out huge yawns. Uh huh, they're processing, they're processing. What the heck are you doing? Raina was in my bed for some reason. Sleep together? What happened? What the heck? I couldn't remember a thing. Don't tell me. At some point, Rena and I. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's some like mommy issue type. Edit. <sighs> Can't say I blame him though. Uh, did I? Sorry for that. Somewhere in my extraordinarily fuzzy memory, I did recall having depended on someone and falling asleep. Ah,、uh, it would have been better if I had done something erotic without realizing it. <laughs> Well, yeah. I had ended yesterday in the worst of moods. But I feel better now that I'd cried it all out. Sure. Reina got out of bed. Uh, Reina?、Mm? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Rita patted her lap. Uh, no thanks. Oh, shut up. The baseball club came to an end in the worst form possible. Still, I ended up coming to Noah Academy and met Reina as a result. Whether this was a positive or negative, I definitely say it was a positive. Yeah? Huh? Uh, Now that she mentioned it, her bare thighs were in full view. Her panties gave me a nice hello. <laughs> How? How? Right. I looked. Speaking of her skirt, didn't she say something about a death grip? Oh, which <laughs> one should be right here somewhere? <laughs> Wait a second. Ah,、uh, yeah. 
Yep, it was her skirt. Looks like it slipped off. Or more like, I took it off while you were asleep, huh? <laughs> sure. I handed it to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what just happened? A little sloppy at the end there, huh? Yeah, just a little. That was still a really good bit. That's probably going to be one of my favorite scenes of all time. In visual novels. Like, I loved Michael. Like, she was my favorite with Sandra and Banka. Well, one of my favorites for sure. But, like, Raiden has a whole different, like, a different freaking story. Hey, uh. I just hit a mad blinker. Fattest joint. Hey, boys don't cry. Nah. <laughs> I've never seen her like this. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Really. Suri was letting her imagination get the better of her. Well, I was sure that just showed how much she worked for me. Oh, she's so sweet. This is why I love her too. Nah, fam. <laughs> You're awfully dark today, Sobi. I probably would have relied on Sobi's cheap powers over the summer, but as I said before, you don't need to do that. If I went back there, I couldn't poke a princess's back in the middle of class anymore. Now, could I? Shut up, LA, Jesus. Mobile Academy suits me best right now. Which is when. What up, homie? Five hours? What? Dude, that can't be healthy. My classmates arrived. I had established a life right now. And it was looking like it'd be another fun day. I like that. That'd be a nice way to end it, actually. Yep. Yeah. Don't call her obnoxious. Oh, look at him getting defensive over his girl. She just hit the meanest hit. Is she on the joint? No, she's a, she's a cigarette smoker. Oh, no. A plume of real cigarette smoke dissipated in the wind, and she seemed to think something over when... Huh? Huh? Did she just kind of figure that she's kind of like special to him now and stuff? And yeah. Yeah, most likely. 100%. That's my guess. Or she wouldn't say that. She, she's, there's no way she'd share the rooftop with anybody else. Or just with anyone, period. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, really? Uh, Wait, what's with the change of heart? This was so spur of the moment that I couldn't piece it together. Heck, hadn't she told me she's the one person you can never tell just the other day? Ryo shrugged her shoulders. Oh, huh? Oh. What? Or what? <laughs> no, kidding. Frisky. <laughs> Wait, wait. Gross, gross. Oh, I can't remember that. I'm sorry. 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 I'm why would you pair me and Reina up? Huh? It's not an act, it's the truth. Oh yeah, Ryo could hear basically everything that happened in my room. All that sobbing was me. 
ああお前そういう性癖だったんだいや気にすんなよ装飾系とかそういうのだろうんよくあるから You got it all wrong So wrong I couldn't even begin to say how wrong Jeez Well I had the penning on rain an awful lot yesterday so it would give people the wrong impression It wasn't as if we were dating Yeah What does underquitted mean? I don't even know what that means. Haven't we followed this exact template before? <laughs> Ryo sneered with full conviction. Well, but, yeah. I could probably say she was wrong the last time this topic came up. But could I give the same answer now? Could I say that I didn't like r a i n a in the same way I had before? Probably couldn't. Compared to before, I'd most definitely, step by step, begin to fall in love with Reina. Oh, yeah. Oh, shut up. Cap, 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 cap. You're going to go that far? Come on. Mm, yeah, I'm all set there. My feelings were set in stone. I had no plans to return to baseball this late in the game. I was beginning to get rusty anyway. I had no intentions of going back. Huh? Now that she mentioned it. I was focused entirely on myself, and the thought hadn't really occurred to me at the same time, but why had Doryo come to invite me back again? I, his previous catcher, hadn't been there for the summer tournament, and that threw him off his game. Had he mentioned that he still couldn't break out of his slump? Well, it's none of my business either way. It's his problem. He can work it out somehow. It has nothing to do with me. So, uh... r e a l plop the butt of your cigarette in the dash tray. She dropped the dicey, that dicey, remark before going up the water tank. It had nothing to do with me. Nothing at all. Okay. Hmm. Are you really still freaking out about Reyna? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. How well, I'm more than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to see this right now. Hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. It's the scene. <laughs> そういえば朝、ヒロとキサキさんの様子がおかしかったようなに。いえ、制作するつもりはないのです。You said that three times. You're definitely prying, Mina. そうそうそうそう。ほな、先輩とレイの先輩は全然、全然、全然関係ないですよ。へそうですよ。ただ、ちょっと二人が、二人が朝。<笑>Out of all the ones I've played so far, I know I've only played three so far and I haven't finished Cafe Stella yet. I finished Sandrin and I'm working on this one. But out of everything I've seen so far, this bit, that bit right there, 
beautiful. I loved it. I loved the vulnerability, the comforting of Reyna. I loved it. And it was such a nice art. I, I just can't get over how great the art is, too. Oh, my freaking God. It's so good. That moment was so beautiful. I loved it. I loved it. I wish I could relive that again for the first time. That was so great. I loved it. I'm, I'm like awestruck and I'm a little speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that was so good. In the previous route, like I said earlier in the video, he never got that vulnerable with Sylvia. You never saw that kind of vulnerability with her. I, although maybe he was vulnerable, I definitely didn't feel like it was as vulnerable as he was here with Reyna back with Sylvia in the Sylvia route. So that threw me off a bit. I was like, whoa, like, huh? But then we've always known that since the common route, since the early days, Reyna has always kind of been that one person that Otto kind of like, you know, trusts in and talks to every now and then. Just like Rhea as well, right? But Reyna as well, she'd be like the other good homie, you know? But that was so freaking good. Like, it gave me chills and I felt like a little choked up too. Like, that was so freaking nice. I love that. I hope there's more moments like that in the, in Reyna's route. I really hope so. And if not, that's okay, but... I just wish I could relive that one more time for the first time. That was so nice. I love that. But anyways, I'm done. I'm done. I won't bore you guys for too long. I hope you guys, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi, episode 26. Episode 26 is going to go down as one of my favorite episodes of all time. If you did happen to enjoy this video as much as I did or just enjoy it in general, please hit that like for me if you haven't already done so. And subscribe if you haven't already done so and you made it this far. Share this video with your homies. Share this channel with your homies. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. We're so close but so far away please that's my goal by the end of this year if we don't have a dozen subs i'm deleting the channel i'm not deleting the channel i'm definitely not deleting the channel but it would be nice to hit a dozen subs before the end of the year i mean obviously i already love right now now with something like that i'm like oh my god i'm going crazy for that okay okay i'm done i'm done i'm done anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode y'all stay safe and as always until next time guys